internet's really bad right now. Is it working? It's like at two bars. What? Why is it two bars? It's so bad. Are we good? <laughs> is it working? Talk back. How's it? How's it? How's it coming? Are we good? Um, I mean, I've got like two bars. I don't know why the internet's so bad. It's been. Is it is it laggy? You know? Is it laggy? Okay. Okay. So we're good. It's just it, like I'm trying to load stuff on YouTube right now and it's so slow. I don't know what to do, y'all. I expected it to to, to close again, honestly, or to crash again. So let me fix the uh, thumbnail and pull the chat up and we'll, we'll see if we can get this look. Cause I, I wanted to surprise you with something really cool. It's so slow. Well, okay, well, we're just gonna see what happens here, guys. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do while we wait for this stream to buffer, I mean, I think we're good. Is we're going to create a grid here. And I'm fine with it having, let's say, nothing crazy, maybe like 20 by 20. And if we go into edit mode here, all we got to do is just grab up some pieces. Nothing crazy. And I think this is gonna be really cool, a really cool effect. Um, yeah, we're using Streamlabs. And if I take this and I turn this on here, and I do this, and I just go up, oops, like this, just like that, that's it. If I get away with a little bit more. I'm gonna to go to Smooth, Shade Smooth. And then I'm gonna unwrap it. Very straightforward. Unwrap. Unwrap, smart UV, unwrap. And it should be perfect here. Let's take a look. Yep. If I go to, yep, it should be. Well, let's wait, wait hang on. Whoa, for some reason, Okay, yep. All right, let's go ahead and save this and I'll show you guys why this is so valuable. Um, it's gonna allow the the um, texture to not look so flat. So uh, how's the chat, is it good? Why is the chat not updating? Weird. That's so weird. The chat is not updating. Okay. Anyway, we'll turn the chat off and then we're just going to do this really quick. Go to other and we're going to save this in basically cloud quad. And it's just going to be a blend file. Nothing crazy here. And we could take the cloud quad grid and take that mesh and replace it with the planes. And then suddenly it's gonna, you're going to have it uh, looking more three-dimensional. So it's all magic tricks, guys. All of it's magic tricks. No! Is it slowing down? 
Sorry, guys. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Son of a... Why is the internet so bad? <laughs> it's so bad. We're going to swap this out with the cloud quad. There you go. Now, I don't see... Oh, no, the quads aren't showing up. I think we have to flip the uh, UV, perhaps. There it is. So we just need to go to this. We're gonna just or go to Blender. The stream's good. Okay, we're gonna go to Blender. We're gonna get a uh, face. I'm sorry, mesh, normals, flip, save, and we should see three dimensional clouds. And it's gonna look less like planes, hopefully, and more like. Let's just enter play mode and I'll show you. I need to get rid of those uh, lightning sprites. So technically, I can do this in real time. So if I go to this and scale it, I can do that. And we'll see what happens. We're going to get some cool intersections too. <laughs> right? Oh, man. It's a little much, isn't it, y'all? Maybe even scale it down. I wonder what would happen. Ooh, look at that, y'all. Do you see why I did what I did? I wonder if we need... Um, more uh, subdivisions. And we're gonna do a subdivision surface, just, just subtle. Take a look at object mode here, it's much smoother now. So we'll see what happens in Unity. If it helps at all, it does. Very good. Now, I have a theory, watch this. If you change out the scale, but we're not gonna do that. Now, how many are we looking at here? Good, that one's good. I wonder if we can move it all up. I think we can rotate it now a little bit faster. Isn't that cool, guys? We are in the clouds. We'll rotate a little bit faster. Five, negative 12, maybe? a little bit much you just you don't want it to look like it's rotating you want it to look like it's moving a little much three negative two we'll do two here or I'm sorry uh, three here yeah it looks like it's just wisping together Okay, good. Isn't that cool, guys? Um, let's see. We're gonna need to enable this at some point. That's the trouble. Let's see, that's the trouble, because I can walk through it, and I believe you could see it, potentially, which I'm not sure if that's a problem. 
So right there you can see it. But I'm like, does it matter? It's kind of cool looking, you know? <laughs> um, I wonder if maybe double-sided. Can we do that? Let's just go explore and see if it's, ca it's causing a problem. I don't hate it. Going through it's kind of weird. So we'll need to disable it as we walk through this. And then it enables like right here and then disables right here, which actually, oh, we're all set. Exterior arena B and C and long staircase get enabled. Okay, exterior B and C, I got it, I got it. So cloud quad needs to be inside of this and that's it. So it should be all set here. That looks so cool. I think we made a lot of progress, honestly. This is pretty sweet. There it is. But when I go back through the halls, I shouldn't see it. Yep. And we should have a different one. What's that? I don't know what that is. Okay, well, I don't know. But we also need one here as well. I don't know what, hang on. Why is that showing up? It's because, ah, oh, we have one here, got it. Okay, so this is called Cloud Quad. I'm gonna call this Cloud Quads. It's like a group. That way I can put it here. Variant, that's fine. And then I'm gonna put this inside of the next one, um, which is this one here, which is exterior uh, arena A. Got it. I'm gonna take this, put it inside of arena A. Boom, like that. And then I believe what we wanna do is put it right down below over here. So I'm gonna actually disable this right now for just a sec, arena C. Yeah, so that I could see what this looks like here. Cloud quads are here. So I'm looking down, they're gonna be up here like this. And then I go in here and boom, goes away. Got it, okay. So let's hear it with music and sound and all that. So this should be all set. Let's turn on the music. Get rid of those stars. Perfect. You can see the bottom there. I wonder if players will just accept that. That's the question.
Sorry, I'm just thinking. Cool. We need to activate those arenas again. Remember, we deactivated them for testing purposes. Don't forget. And ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a good time flying with your pilot, Thomas Brush. Thank you for letting me fly, letting me cook, letting me figure out what to do with the skybox. And I got to say, I think it turned out pretty freaking good. Check out that 3D webinar below if you want to learn from an actual indie game dev, someone who's actually making 3D indie games. There's a webinar below. It's totally free. It's my treat to you. It's going to teach you how to make a 3D game in 15 minutes. It teaches you the basics of getting started with making a 3D game. There's so many things to learn, and this is the one, uh, this is the, I think, the webinar for you because it's going to show you, like, just bare minimum what you need to know to get started. I think it'll help you a lot. Man, that was fun, guys. I love you. Let's delete this. I don't know what's going on here. What is going on here? That's not good. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh, Kidoki. There's something I gotta say. What is it? I guess I I'm hungry. I'm not sure if that's what I What is it? There's something I forgot. No, 